so I've been playing it at Miami. I am going to get my bag that I checked in. Hopefully, my stuff is there. But I'm excited. I'm still not nervous. Like, still not nervous. So, we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to be filming everything off my iPhone. So, yeah. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm waiting for my ride to come to pick me up for surgery. Well, not for surgery, to go to the recovery house. So she told me to text her what door. I'm at door 25. So. I'm just waiting. It is super hot, like super, super humid. And I have this sweater on and I'm burning up right now. Super burning up. Phone camera won't be lit. So I have to keep recording separate videos. time and where you're going. Yeah. yeah. It is a rush hour. You came for what saw you? Uh BBL. Ah. Tomorrow? Uh no, it's on Wednesday. My pre app is tomorrow. Oh, what time? Uh eleven AM. Don't worry. I'm gonna take you before, okay? Okay. okay this is my room. I have a private room. And right now I'm sitting in this chair. And I have like extra stuff in here. That's a pretty decent sized house. There's other rooms too. With other girls. So. so it is day one in Miami. I just got out the shower. I'm about to get in bed and go to sleep because I'm kind of tired. Uh, my pre-op appointment is at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, I've been chatting with the girls here. This one girl got really, really good results from my same doctor. So I'm excited, not nervous yet. Um, just waiting. So... I'll check in with you guys in the morning after pre-op or before pre-op and let you know how it goes. Pre-op appointment. Oh, I'm doing my pre-op. About to take pictures. Already signed papers. Keep you updated. Okay, so I just left my pre-op appointment. Um, she took my blood pressure, a urine sample signed more papers and just um a check on the what do you call it health history height weight and my surgery is at 5 a.m tomorrow morning so i'm excited not nervous but nervous but happy it's early i can't eat after 7 p.m today so I'll keep you guys posted tomorrow. I feel like I just had my last supper. I can't eat no more and it's 7 o'clock. Surgery tomorrow at 5. I can't eat, drink, chew gum, ice, water, nothing. So I just woke up from my getting at the recovery house. 
um, somewhat in pain. Like my stomach is in pain, but my, um, but it's just a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. But my stomach hurts the most. But otherwise, I'm fine. I walked in here. My face is swollen. But I'm just ready for this to be over with. I'm just ready to heal so I can be back moving around to my normal self. Like, even taking a deep breath hurts. I think it's more the bruising on my chest and on my ribs. But don't let anybody tell you this shit don't hurt because it do. That's why I'm coming to y'all with these live videos because this shit hurt. Um, I walked in here by myself. I don't know if I already said that. But I had them put a fan on my face so I can breathe because I be feeling suffocated just laying with my face in the bed. So I need the extra air. But otherwise, I'm good. I've talked to all my family. Checked in with people I care about. So hopefully it's just smooth sailing for here. I'm not excited to get a massage tomorrow. Like, not at all. But, I've been using the bathroom. I went pee. Using the urinal. And they put like a bed pad in between my legs. I gotta pee again, actually. Because she got me on this Pedialyte. It's making me pee and pee more. But it's good for me. But, I'll check back in with y'all um, probably in a couple hours or so. Hopefully I'll be up and walking today. But, alright. It's day two. I just finished my fucking massage. This shit hurts so bad. I'll never do this shit again. Never, ever, ever. Or a scratch on my face. I feel like how I look. Like, y'all understand. Shit hurts so bad. I feel like my ribs is breaking. So much pressure. My stomach hurt. I don't feel good at all. I can barely walk. My legs are weak. I'm just ready to go. I need some stronger pain medicine. Viking don't work. <sighs> it's day two post-op. My face is scratched. Don't know how it happened. My face is swollen. Look at my eyelids. Everything is swollen. I'm in less pain. Um... I've been taking Vicodin with 500 milligram uh, extra strength Tylenol. Um, I've been moving a lot though. I've been like up and walking. My back is really the only thing that hurts now and like my ribs feels like my ribs are broken but overall I do feel better only thing I'm worried about now is the flight back home it's Friday I leave on Monday so hopefully I'll be feeling even better um, A little bit rough trying to get up. But I'm still kind of hunched over. Trying to straighten up. Stand up more. Everything is still 
I'm like a two year old trying to walk again. But overall, I feel way much better. Way, 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 way better. So I'll keep y'all posted. <clears throat> this is day two. So the wise. I'm at my post stop appointment. I've been here since like 9 o'clock. It's now like 12 something. I'm ready to go. This is just the C Doctor chain. And this is Saturday. So I'm, I have surgery on Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Three days post stop now. It's like 9.45 of day 3 p.m. I feel so much better. Guys, I feel so much better. It's not a lot of pressure, but I feel way more better. I move easier. I can lift my legs up. Well, not all the way, but I can like lift my knees up. I'm still worried about the airport. It's, what day is it? It's Saturday. I'm still worried about the airport. Um, I got to the airport on Monday. Yeah, Monday. So, I'm just ready to go home at this point. I'm ready to just go home, lay in my comfortable bed. I'm tired of my neck hurting because I have to lay on my stomach. I'm tired of this damn scar that came from nowhere. Like, I don't know how the fuck they burnt my face. I know this shit better go away. I'm gonna be hot. Hot, hot. Like, but I'm really just ready to get dolled up, do my hair, and get dressed, you know, look like something again. My body is still. A lot of swole. My face went down a little bit. It's not as swole, but it is still a little swole. If you can see, like, my eyelids. Like, it's fat. But, <clears throat> I've been trying to drink a lot of fluids and move around a lot. So, I'm doing good, though. Day three, you definitely feel better. But, the first day, second day, it was so bad. Like, the roof of my mouth was scratched from the intubating tube. Um, you bleed a lot. Like, you look like a murder victim. The pain meds they gave you is not strong. Like, they gave you 5 milligram Vicodin. I was taking that with an additional um, extra strength Tylenol, 500 milligram. So... Make sure you stay on top of your meds and drink a lot of fluid. Pedialyte definitely gives you energy. I recommend that don't drink Gatorade because it's just gonna, it's too much sodium. It makes you keep swelling. Your first massage hurts like hell. I'm gonna be real, it hurts. I tell you, I almost cried. Like I was like, with my hands crunched. That's how painful it was. Everybody that came out was like they had to tell her to stop. So, I'm just being real with y'all this journey. As far as how my butt looks, I'm just gonna see. Y'all know I had a nice butt before, but I just wanted hips and more fat at the top. So, hopefully my butt turns out how I want it. I can tell that I do have hips. Like I said, I am still very swollen, so, you know, it is what it is right now. But as far as the fluffing stage of the butt, and it's softening out. I'm patiently waiting. But I'm only three days post-op, so I got a little bit to go. But like I said, I keep y'all updated. I've been doing these videos every day. Just to let y'all know, like, where I am in my process. Um, I've been eating a lot of soups. Fruit, fresh fruit is, like, my craving right now. Fresh pineapple juice. 
Um, other than that, I don't really have much else to say. So I just keep y'all updated. Bye. So it is day five. Finally get to go home. I'm so excited. Just ready to go. I look better, feel better. Face is still a little bit swollen, but it's slowly going down. Still got this ugly ass scar on my face. But I'm just ready to go. Happy to be going home. I feel way better. Way, way, way better. Um, I'm not really scared about the plane ride anymore because I sat on my butt pillow yesterday and it didn't hurt my butt. So I will let you guys know how the flight goes. But I can barely fit my clothes. <laughs> my sweatpants are like too little. Like they probably like at the top of my butt crack. But whatever. So I just got back home. The flight was not that bad. I'm just happy to be home in my comfort. Still figuring everything out, but happy to make it home. I'll touch base more in my post op video on how the flight was exactly. But just a little update.